Hello guys, welcome to the first episode of the brand new series Roadmap for Competitive Programming where we will walk you through the importance of the data structure and how it is helpful in competitive programming and how it will help you land your dream job. So let's get started. In this video, we'll start off with answering the basic question, what is data structure? The definition of the data structure on Wikipedia says that in computer science, a data structure is a data organization, management and storage format that enables the efficient access and modification. More precisely, a data structure is a collection of data values, the relationship among them and the functions or the operation that can be applied to the data. The question now arises, why we need data structure? Why can't we just store it in a file and use it? Let's see it with an example. Consider a school and there are four teachers teaching ninth grade. So let's take a look into the attendance register for each of the teacher in a world where there is no data structure. This is how the data from all the teachers look like. As we can see, every single register looks different. Also, in order to understand what the data means, we need the help of the respective teacher. Let's list down what all things are wrong with this approach. We can see that there is no sorting or indexing in any of the register. In register 2, the data of only the student present is stored. Register 3 uses sign to mark the attendance and store the last name first. Register 4 stores only the initials for the surname. From all the points discussed before, we can easily make out these drawbacks. The data is unstructured and raw. In some cases, it has incomplete information too. The data is not at all uniform across teachers. It is unordered and unindexed. And lastly, if we try to search for any information, it would take much longer time. So how can we eliminate all these drawbacks? Well, the answer is data structure. If we use a data structure to store the attendance, it will be uniform, structured and indexed and also would take less time to search information. The structured data will look like this. We can see how it is properly indexed and sorted with name. It follows a structure which is uniform across teachers. Now anyone who has the knowledge of the structure can derive meaningful insights from the data which in today's world is called data science and data engineering. The next question that comes to the mind is how the data structure helps in the process of fetching the data. Let's go back to our school example. If you want to search for a student, all you got to do is to search like searching in a dictionary. You will be thinking that it won't matter if the data is sorted or not as here are just 5 students. But assume that there are 1000 students and the data was unsorted. Searching will take a longer time when we need to go through all the 1000 records. If it was sorted, then we could have applied what in computer science we call binary search. For now, let's keep this technical jargon aside and we'll come back to it in the later part of the series. This equation is just a representation of what data structure means. Data structure is nothing but a structured data. A data which follows certain rules and makes meaning out of a raw data is what data structure is all about. Here are some of the most commonly used data structure. Let's see the basic idea behind each one of them. Array is a fixed length indexed space collection of data, which means we need to specify the length of the array while creating it. We cannot modify the length once the array is created. Similar to array, list is also index based, but gives the ability to grow and shrink the length according to the data stored. It is also called dynamic array. A little different than the two is map. It is a unique key value pair data structures with unique keys. All these data structures are nothing but the rules to store the data in a particular format. They are not a physical entity. We store values in them so the data is stored in a particular way and gives an efficient way of storing them. Thanks for watching the video. In the next part, we will discuss why it is important to study data structure.